Hey family, yesterday I got up and I was praying and as soon as I got up, I try to like press into that place as quick as I can, just acknowledging the Holy Spirit and sometimes it takes me a few minutes depending on how rough the night was or what dreams I was having or if there was any warfare going on at night. Sometimes it's super easy. I'm like waking up with just getting revelations and sometimes it feels exactly the opposite. There's so much to fight through. And, uh, but God's so incredibly faithful as we're just keeping it, looking to him and just trusting in him. He's so faithful to wash us off. So yesterday morning I woke up and I was just kind of feeling like blah when I woke up and I just like to spend a couple minutes just pressing in and just asking the Holy Spirit for direction, whether he wants me to, to read the Bible or just pray or worship or just whatever it is. And I was asking him, I'm like, God, just what would glorify the father right now? What would glorify Jesus? And I just really felt led to go into Thanksgiving. And I would think, man, I should be pretty familiar with Thanksgiving. Like that's what God's had me, one of the main things, one of our fundamentals that God's had me sharing for the last 25 years and all Thanksgiving thanks, you know. And it was so cool because I didn't necessarily feel thankful. I felt a little bit of just a distance from God. It wasn't feeling like just feeling God's presence or whatever, but just knowing from experience that we enter into God's presence. We enter through those gates and thanksgiving. And it was cool because I felt like God was really, the Holy Spirit was really exposing something in me. And it's this feeling of almost disgust that I have. And it's this disgust that I have for my lack of gratitude. And I've felt it for so many years. And it's just this sense of God will do something so miraculous. And I'm so grateful and I'm so moved. And it just removes just the the doubt and the unbelief. But as time goes by, it seems like it just kind of slips away. And it makes me so disgusted with just that, that kind of reminds me of the Israelites where they're murmuring and complaining. And I don't th- necessarily think, I think God protects me from going into that too much, but it's still, I'm like, man, I don't want to get, go home in eternity and it, for it to, for it to get to that place for me to really appreciate everything that God's done, all of those milestones, all of the stones of remembrance that God's done to bring us to the place that we are. And I was like, man, Holy Spirit, why are you highlighting this? And he was just highlighting, he goes, you have this in your heart. You have this, just this desire to just appreciate and be so humbled and grateful for all of the things that I've done. And there's so much more available to you as you allow me to just speak to you of my faithfulness, the things that I've done in your past. And I don't normally kind of reflect on those things. I try to stay in that place of thanksgiving as the Holy Spirit's empowering me to, but it's really easy to just fall into that mindset of fear and just making how I feel or my circumstances or the next thing, the priority, which is totally fine to come before God, you know, with what's on your heart so he can wash you off and you can enter into the truth. But there's just something about having that gratitude like the Israelites. And it's cool. I was listening to a a teaching a little bit ago and they were saying that over 80 times or 80 times in the Bible, it says to not forget, like not forget what God has done. And I knew Moses was constantly repeating that. God was constantly repeating it through Moses to the Israelites. And I felt like that's what the Holy Spirit was saying. He's like, just like, thank, just thank me. Like, thank me, acknowledge me for all the things that I've, I've done. And obviously, thank you, Jesus, the clothing line. So, but it was so cool because I really felt like he started leading me into my past And I started just reflecting on all of these things that God's done. And I started just feeling so grateful and so humbled and so full of faith as I was reflecting on God's faithfulness in my life. And one of the first things I started thinking about was the tattoo shop. I'm like, man, 13 years ago, I can remember how miraculous it was. Or when you first meet your wife or your husband, or you get your first car, or you have your kids. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful for this little human being and they're healthy and they're whole. Or when your kid gets sick and then they're okay, it's just this overwhelming sense of like gratitude and relief. And 
as I was reflecting on the tattoo shop and being like, man, God, I'm so grateful. It's such a miracle how you brought it to pass. And it so spoke of you and your faithfulness. There was no logic or there was no like uh, worldly provision. It was all so supernatural the way that you did it. And it just started filling me up with that gratitude. And it was so cool because the Holy Spirit just start, started highlighting one situation after another. And the more he started highlighting different situations, the more it started really becoming about people. And God's been speaking the last couple of days. He's like, as you're really just experiencing my heart, you're really going to start experiencing and appreciating the people that I've brought into your life. And I've always been fascinated that Jesus could come down at any given moment in time and meet with us face to face. And encounters like that would be the most absolutely amazing thing or encounters that we have in the throne room. All of that's so amazing. But God chooses to work through people because he values relationships and he values family. He values the body that much. And I know he's just giving me a greater appreciation. He's giving us a greater appreciation for people. And I knew he was saying, I'm going to give you the ability to really see people for who they are, but really see me in people in ways you never have before, which is going to give you this overwhelming gratitude for the greatest gift that I've given you, besides obviously relationship with him, which is people. And the way that God expresses himself through people and loves us through people and the way we get to love people and how people are our in, in eternal inheritance. We're going to be with our family. We're going to be with the people that we've loved for eternity. And it was so cool just reflecting on like all these hard times when I was growing up where I was just really battling with depression and just how my mom was there and she got me through and just different people that were so strategic in my life. My wife, just having my kids, just all these different relationships where God was so strategic bringing people into my life and it was leading up to today and just all the people that God has in my life that I'm so grateful for that have just added so much value that have just changed my life forever the way that they love me the way that they see me the way they lay it down for me and not putting any expectation on them but just being so grateful that God would love me that much to surround me with the people that he has and looking past the the struggles or looking past our faults and just really seeing them as God sees them, just really appreciating them for who they are. And so as I was doing that, the Holy Spirit was just really bringing me into his presence through Thanksgiving. And it was reminding me of Psalms 100, which I want to read to you guys. And then we'll pray together and we'll just pray that the Holy Spirit will just continue to redeem our past where the enemy is so good at just when we think about our past just giving us that filter of where we were hurt or abandoned or rejected or disappointed and justifying self-protection, which is actually judgments coming against the character of our Father, where the Holy Spirit's breaking all of that down, that when we look at our past, we see God's faithfulness. We see the people that were there for us. We see the people that were even hard to deal with that drove us deeper into God's presence and deeper into His heart that would strengthen our faith and ultimately teach us the love that we find accessible in the presence of our Father. And so uh, I'm going to read Psalms 100 from the Amplified Version just because it's so awesome. So in Psalms 100, uh, this is actually the Amplified Classic, it says, Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. I love that. Serve Him with gladness. Reminds me of the promise that Jesus gave us. He's like, and this joy, I'm, I just pray, God, that they would just have the same joy that I have. Reminds me of just pressing in, walking in faith, entering into the kingdom where we, are, we get to experience the righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit, in the kingdom. And it says, come before his presence with singing. No, perceive, recognize, and understand with approval that the Lord is God. It is He who has made us, not we ourselves, and we are His. I love how Thanksgiving puts everything in a perspective. As we're thanking Him, our lives start revolving around Him instead of trying to get God to revolve around us where just nothing feels like it's connecting. 
We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. I love that scripture. Not just for years to having conversations with people just about thanksgiving. And they're like, why would I thank God when I want to die? Or why would I thank God when my kids are sick? Or why would I want to thank God? And I'm like, because it's not about your feelings. Your feelings don't dictate the truth. We get to lay down our feelings and take that step of faith and worship and praise and thanksgiving. And as we do, we're entering into his promise where the spirit will set us free with the truth, where we're seeing things from a completely different perspective, where we're empowered by God's promise. We're empowered by the cross to watch the kingdom manifest in those areas versus in just complaining or murmuring or unbelief, trying to get God in fear to fix our circumstances. So it says, with thanksgiving and a thank offering into his courts with praise. And I love the Amplified Classic because it says the thank offering. Sometimes it's that sacrifice of praise to where you're like, man, I'm really not feeling it, but I'm just going to step out. I'm going to step out in faith knowing all of heaven's rejoicing and praising God, not because they have to, but because there's nothing there coming against the truth of God's worthiness to be praised. Holy, holy, holy. And it says, be thankful and say to him, bless and affectionately praise his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy and loving kindness are everlasting. I love that. His loving kindness, it's everlasting. His faithfulness and truth endure to all generations. Oh, it's just going to continue to pass on God's faithfulness and how he's called us by name. And Lord, we just thank you, God. We just thank you for anybody that's been battling God with just feeling stuck in the desert like the Israelites where we're, all we can see is through the filter of just what's wrong and it just brings us into that place of just complaining, Lord, or just feeling victimized. And we just thank you. And I just pray for the same mercy, Holy Spirit, that you showed me in the name of Jesus, God, that you would just wash us off, God, and that you would just continue to redeem our history, God, that you would just wash it and cleanse it, God, and just give us a perspective as we're thinking about our past, Lord. We'd be able to press past those memories of what was wrong that justify self-protection, God, or justify rebellion, Lord, or, or pushing God away, God. And we just thank you, Lord, that we would see all of the people in our lives, God, that you strategically put there that just loved us through the hardest situations and how it was you, God. It was you that lined those people up, God. And I just thank you, Lord, for, like I said, even the people that are hard, Lord, how you just use those things to drive us deeper into you, Lord. And we thank you. You're so worthy to be thanked, God. We thank you for the access. I thank you for the Passion Translation where it says the password of praise, Lord. How you, we have the access through the blood of your Son into your presence, Lord, that we can boldly enter in, that we can enter in through thanksgiving, Lord. And I just thank you, God, that you would just continue to fill us up, Lord, with just that gratitude. Even when things get harder, they feel bad, Lord, that we would just reflect, Lord, just those stones of remembrance, God, all of those victories, all of the miracles, God, what you've given us by your mercy that we don't deserve, God. We just pray that you would just humble us, Lord, and that we would be able to reflect, God, on your loving kindness, Lord. And we just praise you, God, and we just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that encouraged you guys. I will talk to you soon. God bless you. Take care.